Good morning, everyone. It is a game time excellent day. I will explain that later on. But um, as you guys can tell, the aftermath of staying up all night has caught up to me. Um, I woke up a little later than what I normally do. I normally, my morning routine is to wake up around 4.30, take a cold shower. I'll share with you guys sometime. But I didn't get to do that this morning because I was tired. I was tired and momentum is a good thing. I was able to capture that momentum at one o'clock in, mo in the morning and knock out some things. But the thing is with momentum, you need to figure out the right time for your body so you can continue to do that over a long haul, not just for one day. You know what I mean? And the thing about momentum is this right here. It's not, a, it's not just about doing work doing work doing work it's also about maintenance and taking care of yourself on a day in and day out basis emotionally spiritually and physically so when i was in the nfl when i played for the new england patriots i watched people like julian edelman tom brady devin mccordy how they took care of themselves they would come up come in the morning get in the cold tub hot tub be in the training room lift weights um, get, get right amount of sleep, chiropractors, sleep beds, all that type of stuff because the NFL season is a long season. It's long. Compared to college and high school, whoo, <laughs> it's so long. And it's the same thing in life. It's a marathon. And so today, to continue my momentum so I don't get burnt out, and some of you guys know, know what that is. Some of you guys know that burnout syndrome. For me, uh, I have a massage plan and uh, I'm going to write in my bullet journal. And so uh, make sure not only that you're working to build the momentum, but you're taking care of yourself so you can continue to do the work necessary to skyrocket your business, skyrocket your athletic career, skyrocket your life. You know what I mean? Peace. The scripture says in chapter 1 of Mark, verse 35, in the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. You think about when you get up in the morning, how much of the world crowds itself into your thinking. You have to get dressed, of course, and eat breakfast, and you've got to get in your car and drive down the expressway or somewhere and finally get to work. And as soon as you do, it's chatter, 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 chatter all the day. Or oh, the keyboard's flying all the day and your mind is full. Then you've got to get back in your car, get back on the highway, and, uh, and dodge the traffic again all the way home. And when you get there, you undress and try to relax, and then there's dinner. I can fill up your day and not even know you. And so where is God? Where is, where, where is God's private time with you? So where do we begin with our priorities? First and foremost, we must make certain that our top priority is God Almighty. Jesus Christ said it this way, Seek first the kingdom, and all of these things shall be added unto you. So many times we have it backwards. We are pursuing all of these things, and we've forsaken the king and his kingdom. So I'm on my way to get this massage and I think it's so important to feed your mind, feed your body, feed your spirit with the right things. A lot of times we are tired and we get burnt out and we lose the momentum because we're feeding our bodies the wrong things. And um, that's why I'm listening to uh, this message right now because I you've got to feed my mind. So I can be rejuvenated because you have no idea when you're to not going to get the chance the work again. that I'm doing. It's the supernatural it's law challenge. of breakthrough. It's, it's when you do the What's same the thing like? over and over and over and over and over again that you begin to see the mountain of impossibility begin to move. Prayer and perseverance go together. If you're going to become a person of prayer, you will be a person of perseverance. Jesus said, give us... So, let's do it. 
I'm talking about momentum. So I'm about to get a massage. She hurts me on a daily basis. <laughs> Done with my massage. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling rejuvenated. Uh, I feel like I'm ready to go again. Now I'm feeling refreshed to do the work that I'm doing. Um, so momentum isn't just about working hard and grinding, 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 but it's about maintenance. It's about um, keeping your body fresh so you can continue to do the work you call to do. We used to have this saying in the NFL where you can't make the train, you can't make the team in the training room. Uh, you can't make a club in the tub. So you got to take care of yourself. Same thing in life. Take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And this is one of my ways. So, what are your what are some of your ways? Good question. What are some of the ways uh, you take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually? I drink over a gallon of water every day, Okay. which you need to do. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> um, I work out with him Boom. three times a week. Um, I would do more, but I'm too old. I can't handle it. She's not old. <laughs> and then spiritually, I have my time with God every day. Boom. So does that help you keep the momentum? Yes, it does. See? Come up with a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Come up with a plan. Okay. One of the ways you take care of yourself emotionally, Man, I don't. physically, and spiritually. You would love to learn. You would love to learn? <laughs> okay, we're talking about that. See, we're going to do some videos on that. I like it. Sarah, what about you? What do I do regularly? Yeah, what do you do to take care of yourself? I get my hair done. Hair done, uh -huh. see? Okay. Emotionally, that helps me. Okay. And physically. Yeah, it looked wonderful. Thank you. That's like a, I feel like this is like a loaded question. A loaded question? I mean, yeah. I would probably say I connect with with people. Connect with people. Yeah, that's that's probably something I do. But. So connect with people. Yeah. Okay. If you want to get your hair done, people. <laughs> okay. Come see Sarah. Come see Sarah at Clutch. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is her right here. She's awesome. <laughs> Man, what's going down everyone? So, man, that massage was amazing. But I wanna let you guys know that, you know, momentum is everything. You know, building that momentum is key to your success. And so I talk about game time excellence. Game time excellence is having, you know, an excellent mission, having an excellent mindset, and mastering the little things, mastering the details, mastering who you are, mastering the maintenance in your life. You see athletes perform on game day, but game time excellence isn't just about performing when it's game time, but performing, being game time excellent every single day. And so that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys, man. When, when you're building that momentum, it isn't just about grinding, 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 but it's, it's about doing the little things to keep yourself healthy, to be able to continue to grind every single day. Be game time excellent. And so I do other things that I'm going to share with you guys at another time, but I just wanted to show you like, man, when I'm, when I stay up all night, I feel the aftermath. So I have to wake up and, you know, listen to the right things and then go get a massage and rejuvenate myself so I can get back going. So I want to hear in your comments, what are the, what are some of the things you do to keep yourself physically healthy, emotionally healthy and spiritually healthy so you can be game time excellent every single day. Peace.